A big, a big congrats on Ezra. And I'm at a time when thoughtful character-driven films are becoming rare at the box office, along comes Ezra, a thoughtful character-driven film that gave me all the feels, made me cry buckets. <laughs> <laughs> me too, oh, me too, <laughs> me too. Uh, Oh, so let's begin with you, Mr. Tony. You directed the film. Give us the genesis of Ezra. How did it all come about? Well, it came about, the screenwriter, Tony Spiridakis, um, is my oldest and dearest friend. And um, Tony has an autistic son. And when Dimitri, his son was about 11 years old, they went through a real odyssey in their family and a real, some real challenging times. And he said, I want to write a movie about it. And he'd written many beautiful screenplays, but he, he wanted to write a, his story. So he... Um, that you know, began it, and I read over the years many drafts of it just as a friend. About two years ago, Tony sent me a script saying, oh, look, I've rewritten it, just I'd love your thoughts on it. And I read it just again as a friend, but I was so moved by it, and I thought it was so funny, and it really clicked for me. And I said, we gotta do this together. Like, I gotta make this movie, we're gonna do this together. And it became sort of an expression of our 40-year friendship. Oh, and you're also here, by the way, as. Bo uh, Rose's boyfriend, Bruce, or Bruce. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bruce or Brian or Bryce, or yeah. <laughs> Max always gets my name wrong. So, yes, that was a last minute decision to, yes. to cast myself in the movie. Yeah. Oh, Miss Rose, the fierce, caring mom, Jenna. I love the dynamics between your character and Bobby's character here, co parenting. Both want the best for Ezra, right? I mean, but you listen to authority more than he does, right? I mean, talk to us about their dynamics as co parents. Yeah, they're very, ex I mean, extraordinarily different. You know, Max is reactive. He's uh, he he's impulsive. And, and Jenna is trying to steer the ship. She's trying to listen to what is right, to do, being told by people what to do. But it's really hard because she wants her kid to be himself as much as Max does. Mm -hmm. But it's the different ways they go about doing that. And they're learning as they go. And like, you know, being a parent, your child ends up teaching you so much stuff that you're the one who's constantly learning your limitations and what is going to help them and who do you listen to. And that's even that's magnified when you have a child on the spectrum. So I feel like the, the film really deals with that gray area and it meets them at a crisis point as well, where it's sort of bubbling to the surface, mm -hmm. um, which I think the script really captures because it's such an authentic story about, you know, what what Tony really went through. You know, you know, Rose, you're amazing here, but so sorry. I'm the great cast is great, by the way, but William A. Fitzgerald took the cake. <laughs> Thanks yeah. like oh, no. He's, He's amazing. The show. Yeah. <laughs> He's such a natural and mm -hmm. Tony, how did you yeah. zero in on him real quick? Well, we knew from the beginning we were gonna cast an autistic child to play Ezra. We were never gonna cast a neurotypical kid. <clears throat> we launched a nationwide search and saw over a hundred kids. And um, it took us a long time, and, but we couldn't find him. And about three weeks before we started shooting, William's tape came in that he had made with his mom, and uh, it was wonderful. And so w he lives in New Jersey, and we were in New York, and he came in the next day to meet Bobby. And, and it was from the second I met him, I knew it was him. And he, it was just a, he was a revelation. He was just a natural. He'd never acted before, but just understood it. And um, yeah, it was, a, it was a joyous experience working with him. He's amazing as a kid who makes us look at the world through a different lens. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love that. Well, I'll be big congrats on Ezra again, you guys. It covers the whole spectrum of love and whatever you do, stay for the end credits. <laughs> yes, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. Good luck on everything. Right, thanks, yeah, thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.